the foamy stuff that they put on there to kill any bacteria that may be on the outside of that teeth. And something that you'll notice later when we go out in the barns, all these cows lay in sand. So it, sand harbors very little bacteria and it's really easy to clean. So we just brush it off. We put the iodine on there. And this also stimulates the cow to wet it. So they have some of them longer, some of them shorter, depending on the long milk they have. And then, yeah, you just saw the, it just lifts up and they walk out, they open up the gate and some more walk in. The ones that are on the sides where you came in and over here are done milking, they're waiting to go out. And in the back of the parlor is where they come in. really small but if you feel the, the desire to down on the bottom there's a pipe going in this is hot and the pipe coming out this is cold you can actually feel the difference to the, to the difference in the temperature of the, the milk um, do we have more questions in here or Roger anything I forgot um, when you're talking about the milk quality and the temperature, yep. uh, you have the, the federal regulations as well as state public pasture milk ordinance that you have to comply with. And that's the reason why they have the chart. And before they can sell it to, to Land Lakes, the milk hauler comes in and pulls a sample out of the bone tank. The mix, that milk is tested at the plant before it's even unloaded to determine if there's any form of adulteration, whether it's antibiotics or excess water, something like that. So there's another check in the system before the milk even gets to the plant. So that cow got marked so that the veterinarian and I could find her, and then he pranked her, checked her, and that green job on her tail head told me that she's pregnant. So, and as far as just the general things, like I said, they all lay in sand, which you may be able to see if you look in between the cows. And the sand that we use is natural wash sand.